Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals coming to you live from somewhere in Asia, guys. It's a great time to be alive, and right now we got lots to talk about. We're gonna be talking about, you know, Luna Classic expose out there. We're gonna be talking about uh, a BNB out there. We're gonna be talking about a ton of ton of stuff. And you guys all know that uh, there is a big hackity hack on BNB. So once again, guys, if you do not have your if you do not have your crypto on a hardware wallet, you you can be in trouble. So remember. Get your crypto on a freaking hardware wallet or you could get hackity hack just like Binance did. And look, guys and gals, Binance, Binance is not some lightweight out there. Uh, you know, they spend a ton of money on security and they got hacked, guys. So just secure crypto, secure crypto. Uh, you know, we got some cool uh, Luna Classic news. So let's jump into it, guys. Remember, everything you see here is not financial advice. Just the OG in the house expressing my opinion. I'm not a licensed financial advisor. You know that. So we're seeing that the pre-markets right now are looking kind of dicey out there. We're getting pretty close to the opening bell. And I believe that, uh, you know, by the time you're watching this, the uh, pre-markets are going to be over. The uh, Dow Jones is going to start. And it's going to be red, guys. It's going to be absolutely red out there. Uh, we all know about the uh, the Binance hack out there. 500, 570 million dollars worth of Binance BNB token stolen in another major crypto hackity hack. I did talk about this this morning, and it looks like Binance said a cross chain bridge. And you see, guys, all of these exploits seem to be some kind of like cross chain bridge, right? It's not native. It's, these hacks are not happening native on the uh, blockchain. It's all these bridges, right? These are things that communicate with the main blockchain. So that is what that's all about. Uh, so it looks like uh, BNB chain was a targeted enabled hackers to move BNB tokens off the network. So in total, the hackers withdrew 2 million BNB. That's worth about $570 million at current prices. So at an earlier estimate, uh, the company placed a total around 100 to 110, but that's that's actually gone up now. So the value of BNB has uh, has uh, tankity tank tank out there because of that. You can see right here, if you take a look at the price of BNB right now, we can see right now that BNB has tanked uh, almost four 4.23% right now. So uh, it's going down. But, you know, if you are holding BNB, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, you know, Binance and CZ, they're going to cover your losses. So don't worry about it. Don't panic. You don't have to do anything except I would recommend getting a hardware wallet out there. That's what I recommend. So it is what it is. Uh, let's take a look at the DXY right now. The DXY is going up. Eh, not so good. If we take a look at a heat heat map right now, we're probably going to see a ton of red out there. We're seeing a ton of red right now for the uh, heat map. We're seeing the Bitcoin is down, uh, Ethereum is down, BNB is down, uh, everything is down, and this whole hack didn't help. And this really just kind of, you know, uh, illuminated the fact that, you know, cryptocurrency, it's volatile. Cryptocurrency is not 100% safe. I mean, Bitcoin is. I mean, the Bitcoin blockchain is. I mean, Bitcoin blockchain has never been hacked out there. So that is okay from that perspective. But once again, get yourselves a hardware wallet out there. I would appreciate it. Uh, what's coming in right now, we can see that uh, at least the BNB chain has resumed. So it's resumed. So you all should be seeing that BNB is back online. So if you're if you're a Binance customer, it's okay. I checked my Binance. It's okay now. Withdrawals, deposits are back on. Everything is fine, fine, fine. And if you're using a, you know, a DeFi wallet, uh, you know, uh, a software, a hardware wallet, you should also be able to resume, uh, you know, anything related to BSC blockchain. So that's good. That's absolutely good. And so, you know, basically CZ, he's going out and say, look, full transparency, I was asleep. By the time I was woken up at the 3 a.m., the community of Valdez had already paused. So it looks like the community did react pretty fast out there and they did pause uh, everything. And also, all of these, uh, all of these wallets out there, uh, that have uh, been taking this BNB. They've a lot of the wallets have been tracked down. They've been uh, suspended, and you know whoever took took it, they're not going to be able to. To, to cash out. I mean, they may have cashed out a little bit already, but overall, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to be able to like mix it up in tornado cash or anything like that. So that is good news out there. So I wouldn't worry about that. It's a little bit of a hiccup. Also, we're seeing that the Terra, Terra Rebels warn Terra Luna Classic community about rising rug pulls. So right now, they're also, they're also talking about, uh, you know, we did talk about this 2.5 uh, trillion uh, Luna Classic tokens that will be burned with this whole finesse P2E game. So the Luna Classic Rebels have said, look, they got nothing to do with it, they, with this uh, Super Little and, K, and, uh, and KJ Labs. So from that perspective, it's got nothing to do with it. 
Uh, so guys, just be careful. And also too, uh, the Terra Luna uh, Rebels also did warn about the Baby Luna Doge. Uh, ba baby Luna Doge. Baby Luna Classic. I got Doge on the brain, guys. Uh, rug pull over. So there's no affiliation. So basically, the finesse. A little spear, little spear, a little spear uh, game has nothing to do with it. So, you know, like I said, they, they're saying they're going to be burning 2.5 billion. I don't believe it. Let's see it. Uh -uh. So watch out out there. So it's all, it is what it is. So once again, uh, Terra Luna Rebels are also talking about decentralization. I'm compiling a list of many of the uh, Lung community groups as possible so we can establish the power of our collective voice and pull together. No group politics, just Lunk United. So, guys, you know, there is a, a little bit of a controversy brewing about centralization versus decentralization for Luna Classic. So, but I believe that the community is going to do the right thing. I absolutely believe it. You should believe it. So, guys, this is also coming in. Looks like, is this Do Kwon's wallet? Terra founder may still have $140 billion, $140 million a hand. So there was all this, there was this deep dive into all of these transactions that happened, uh, you know, at the collapse of um, Terra Luna. So there is speculation out there that, that uh, Do Kwon is still holding $140 million. Hence, hence the South Korean authorities uh, have basically frozen you know, about uh, about $39 million worth of uh, BTC. But they believe that there is more out there, guys. So, you know, could Do Kwon be holding or withholding about $140 million worth of, uh, of uh, Bitcoin? So there are some speculation out there that, you know, this guy is actually a nasty actor because, you know, he's wanted right now, he's wanted in like 195 countries, uh, and, and an entity associated with Doquan and Terra currently has over 140 million of Bitcoin as well. It's been confirmed, but you know we don't know who exactly owns this wallet. And while the unidentified, uh, why uh, still un why it's still un unidentified? What's wrong? I was working all day, and my brain is fried. The entity founded uh, Luna Foundation Guards official wallet on May 16th, suggesting it has close ties to organization. So definitely, it definitely has close uh, ties to organization. And the same entity sent approximately 4,204 Bitcoin to OKX and KuCoin. These may be the funds of the South Korean authorities are currently attempting to freeze. So that is weird and wacky out there. So Do Kwon, this this whole saga is getting deeper, getting weirder, and getting wackier out there. So I hope they find this guy. He won in 195 countries. There's a there's a there's a red warrant issued for him. He's on the, the Interpol red red notice red card issue. So this B I T C H. Turn yourself in, brother. If you got nothing to hide, if you're not guilty, turn yourself in. Why are you hiding? So it looks like Shiba Eternity sets historical record for Shiba Inu Day after the release details. So that is pretty good, guys. So we're seeing more and more people downloading the Eternity game. So that is cool, cool in the house. And we should start to see that uh, Shiba Inu should start to be pumping. Let's take a look at what's going on with Shiba Inu. It's not pumping, guys. So like I said, just because people are downloading... Doesn't mean it's going to create uh, enough buzz to make the crypto pump. So all I got to say is that we're still seeing that uh, Shiba Inu is doing the crappy walk as 11 cents. Boring, boring. Let's go watch paint dry. Let's go watch paint dry. Uh, so, but it's good. We got the eternity game. Uh, look, full disclosure, my wife's got Shiba Inu. She, she bought it behind my back and it's still... It's still there. We're still got it. We're still got it. So let's take a look at the fear and greed index out there. So the fear and greed. Let me get a minute refresh. Minute refresh. Minute refresh. So we're back down again into la la land. Uh, so we're back down to 23. We've dropped from yesterday when we had fear. Now we're in extreme fear. Well, let's go wet to bed, guys and gals. Uh, and if you take a look, what else is coming in? It looks like Celsius was in court, and somehow the Celsius knuckleheads they basically uh, disclose a lot of user information in public court documents and and the key word is public court documents so that's since been redacted out there but this was a pretty big debacle out there all of this private information getting into the wild so that's not good guys absolutely not good bitcoin is the, is it right where it belongs and where where it will be again in the future the 7.8.6 the Fibonacci retracement and 35 ultimate oscillator level. So guys, every time we see these uh, Fibonacci levels, we often have a bounce to the downside and then we have a nice pump to the upside. So we saw it here, down to here, bang. This is hard here, down, bang. 
And we're seeing right now, we just hit the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And that should mean that Bitcoin should start pumping. So if we take a look at what's going on in Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still above my uh, purple rain line at 19,000. And, you know, if we take a look at the directory here, we actually are painting, you know, from, from here to here, it's higher lows, right? I mean, on the long, on the long time frame, it's not. But in the short time frame that we just zoomed in, it's higher higher lows out there so that is pretty good guys so the, you know trendy wendy is your friendy zoom out things are looking pretty good for for um, for bitcoin right now so if we take a look at bitcoin on the weekly still positive still in the green two days 12 hours this could be a greeny weenie out there so that is pretty good uh let's take a look at what is going on with my beloved deja wozier so doja wozier has given up a little bit has been retraced about uh 1.89 percent and we're looking at 0623. So remember, we still have to hold the 0, 0, 06 cent level. And like I said, we've got some huge resistance right here for the Doge guys. And I still, I'm still pretty, pretty confident that Doge will make a recovery. If we can get past 068, then the bulls will actually take over, guys. And that will take us up to seven cents, eight cents an ounce. So that is that is bullish, absolutely bullish. Let's take a look at the Doge, 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 Doge coin. Dogecoin uh, volumes, the volumes are down, it's about 306 million, and the cap, cap, cap is down about 4.48%. We're seeing most of the cryptocurrencies just poop or smile today. Nothing, nothing much to worry about. Let's take a look at the Luna Classic and the Bernie Burns out there, about 14.39 billion, billion with b, -b, -b, -b out there is being burned, so that is pretty good. Uh, what do I see for Luna Classic right now? Luna Classic did attempt to uh you know it did it did pump up today about to about 30 it got rejected out there and right now we're trading at 29 and remember this this one of the reasons we had this dumpage was because of that article about Do Kwan, 140 million uh still at large so you know a lot of people i mean i was in the ama this morning uh, on twitter and uh, you know there's like 1500 people on this ama and they all still believe that Do Kwan is part of the luna classic so just to set things right Doquan has nothing to do with the Luna Classic project. It's completely independent, but still, but still, a lot of newbies, a lot of Joe Public and Joe Nancy out there, they still think that Doquan is part of it. And anytime we get some negative news on Doquan, we see a little bit of a tankage action for Luna Classic. So let's take a look at Luna Classic in terms of the market cap. Let me give this a minute to refresh. Bang, there we go. Internet is fast where I am right now. We're seeing that the volumes are up about 15.51%. That's around about $375 million. But, you know, our market cap is below $2 billion. So we really need to see, uh, you know, Luna Classic to make some pumpage, guys. We really need to get ourselves back above the 32, 33 level. Uh, if not, I mean, I think for we're going to just stay in this whole range for at least a week or so. I don't think we can expect anything. But remember, Luna Classic is volatile. It's not uncommon for this bad boy to pump 8%, 9%, and also retrace down uh, 9 or 10%. So if we want to get back up to the next level, we need to kind of get up here. That's going to be about a 12%. So we need a 12% uh, you know, gain for Luna Classic to regain those levels. So it is what it is, guys and gals. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on with Ethereum right now. Ethereum right now has broken down we have we're having a nice we were having a nice trending line up until yesterday and now we just had a big dump ski out there uh it is what it is and that's also happened to us this whole jobs data that's come out as well that's also been in the toilet also the dxy is pumped again so this is another uh another thing that is impacting crypto right now so crypto is getting boring crypto is getting nasty out there uh all you can do is just wait 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 uh you know crypto is going to do the crabby walk uh, we're just going to be tightly range bound and we're just going to have to keep going, guys. Keep going to Q1 2023, guys. We're going to get there. We're going to get that together. So that's going to bring this video to a close. Woozy, guys, don't forget to go and follow me on my Twitter. We got 4,758. Do go back and watch the charity video. This is a tearjerker. This will absolutely move you. Don't forget to go check out all the links below. The affiliate link is down there. Buy the channel coffee, all that kind of stuff. And also, we got the Dogecoin tippy jar. Get the merch. You want the merch gear with the OG gear. So that's going to bring this video to a close. Be well. Be blessed. Be beautiful. I'll see you in the next one. Woo! Peace out.